Right, barbecue season is finally here. We officially kicked it off last weekend. And what better way to celebrate than visiting one of the best barbecue joints in New York City? Ooh, Carrie Drew takes us to Mabel Smokehouse in tonight's edition of The Dish. To me, it's the ultimate comfort food. In Oklahoma, barbecue is it's everywhere. So, you know, you eat barbecue two, three times a, a week. For Oklahoma-style barbecue you won't find anywhere else, there's Mabel's Smokehouse in Brooklyn. We have our smoker going 24 hours a day. So we'll load in the evening and let it go all night long. He grew up in Oklahoma. I grew up in Kentucky. And we just kind of wanted to take our family traditions and put them together and and open a, a place on a wing and a prayer. Yeah, she was gonna be in charge of the bourbon and I was gonna be in charge of the barbecue. <laughs> husband and wife team Megan Love and Jeff Lutonsky opened the joint five years ago in an old tonic water factory on Berry Street in Williamsburg. The name of the restaurant pays tribute to Jeff's late grandma Mabel and her famous recipes. She grew up in Oklahoma during the Dust Bowl. She had a large family and, and everybody grew up eating her amazing food and she was pretty famous for you know, a few towns around about how good her food was. A way to sample some of Mabel's greatest hits is to try the deluxe platter, three meats and three sides. So this is typically a dish people share? Yeah, this is good for two to three people depending on how hungry you are, but we get some big construction workers in here and they can knock this out no problem and then take an extra side of ribs you know, as, as dessert. The ribs are coated in Mabel's secret sauce. Put our house sauce on there. Get it nice and caramelized. We make our sauce from scratch, and it is his grandmother's recipe, and it hasn't changed. So you're not going to taste anything else that tastes exactly like it. We have some nice pulled pork that's been coated with our house barbecue sauce. Then there's the brisket, smoked until it's just right. Nice fat marbling in that fatty brisket. Some pork butt for our pulled pork. This is the rub that's been smoked and uh, turns black and hardens. And then just below that's the fat cap that after uh, 10, 12, 14 hours of smoking, it starts to render and then it just melts and becomes real buttery. And that's where, that's where a lot of the good flavor comes from. We're very proud of our collards. Collard greens, they're just so delicious. We have our mac and cheese, which is just real no frills down home, kind of mac and cheese like you had when you were a kid, gooey, Velveeta. The candied yams are a really big specialty of ours too. They're kind of like a Thanksgiving candied yam. They've got the marshmallows and the pecans. But it's like, we at first they were seasonal and we were like, all right, let's change them up for people were like, where did the candy yams go? <laughs> get in there. Let's get in there. We got in there and it was a memorable first bite. Best yeah. rib I've ever had in my life mm -hmm. after one bite. Oh my God. Wow. Nice. This is good. Thank you. At Mabel's, it's all about Southern hospitality and Southern pride, from the name of the smoker to the taste of the food. We just really wanted to make a place that felt like sort of our childhood. There is nobody that feels uncomfortable here, and that's what I love because that's the spirit of barbecue. It's the spirit of the South a bit. We really try and do Southern hospitality. We have a lot of people that live in the neighborhood that are from the South and so they'll bring their family into town and they're like, hey mom, look, it's okay. I'm eating well here, you know. Don't worry about me. Cheers to Mabel's. For The Dish, I'm Carrie Drew.